Sid from Aquatic Sports Performance here. We got max effort Olympic lifting, swimming sprint drills, babies, and my best friend's dad. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> All right, what, what are we doing today, Sid? We got Olympic lifting and swim training. What are we doing for weightlifting today? Three heavy single snatches and then three heavy single clean and jerks. And then I'm doing three heavy single back squats. This is part of what, a, like a 12 week program? Yeah, uh, it's technically a four week cycle where you're supposed to peak at the end of the cycle. Uh -huh. And I'm peaking right now. It's just, like, it's just a test run. And why are you doing weightlifting again? I'm trying to compete in my first weightlifting competition either this year or next year. Would you recommend swimmers to train like this? I highly it? recommend you don't train like this if you're a swimmer who's trying to swim fast and that's your goal. But if you're like me and who doesn't care about, well, I care, but your goal isn't to prioritize one sport, then it's, it's a fun way of trading, I think. I also feel like it's pretty beneficial as a strength coach to uh, compete in strength strength sports because in strength sports, your primary objective is to get strong. And as a strength coach, if you don't know how to get strong, it's pretty hard to be a strength coach. So Sid, Sid competing in weightlifting, I think furthers his skill set as a strength coach. Obviously, it's not the most ideal training situation if he was like gonna go to the Olympics for swimming, but for what we're trying to accomplish, which is be um, swim strength or and aquatic strength specialists, I think this is pretty cool uh, for us to be doing this. A little fun fact about this garage gym, uh, we just had our five year anniversary, ASP's fifth year anniversary. This is where, ASP actually started. This is our parents' garage. Um, started training a couple people here for free. Started with Simon Lamar, Ben Lopez. Uh, we got there. We used to have the people autograph this board. You got Tebow, director of ops, Patrick Park, Diego, Elise Garcia, uh, Dylan Ho, Katie, Casey Ang, Aishida. <sighs> I'm starting off my heavy single at 145, then we'll see how heavy I can go from there. Too easy. We got his little helper. Push, 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 push. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Ray. Good job. Oh, roll, roll back and forth. I'm working on Oh, you're working out too? You thought about letting that go, huh? I know. The top. <laughs> you thought about it. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, that was close. You well, thought about it and then you're like, nah. Nah, I went for it. If you do a meet, what are you gonna open with? I'm gonna, well, if it's next year, hopefully I can open with 185. That's the goal with for my snatch. My eventual goal is 225 snatch. And then I would like to hit like a 275 clean. That's my long-term goals. So a question I get sometimes is, do we do Olympic weightlifting with our aquatic athletes? And I do think it can be useful. And strength coaches talk a lot about like, oh, it takes time to teach, it's dangerous, whatever. But the main reason we don't do it is because we just don't have the space for it. Um, Olympic weightlifting takes up a good amount of space to do because you have to have enough space around you where if you need to dismount or you need to miss a uh, lift, you, you can do that. We just don't have the space to do it. Um, and that's something I don't really hear strength coaches talk a lot about is like, do you have the space to do Olympic weightlifting? But we don't, so um, we only program it in very rare scenarios where we, where we know like there's only one or two athletes in the room, then we'll program it for our more advanced aquatic athletes. <laughs> what happened to 185? How easy? See, that's what I, I, don't, I don't know. I haven't done it in so long that it's hard to tell. Okay.
Okay, so if this is the snatch, I like to, when I'm, when I'm personally snatching, I like to visualize the snatch of where I'm gonna catch the bar. So on the first one, I caught it kinda here, so I ended up missing. So in order to make the second one, I just told myself I need to catch it in this slot. If I catch it here, or if I catch it here, I know I'm gonna miss, but if I just tell myself, I just have to put the bar in this slot, then I'll make it. Um, this visualization has been helpful for me to um, kind of fix errors during snatch workouts. Come on, come on, come on. Ah. Dang. I just count that as my second one. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. I used to, after I finished the snatch, because I was lazy, I would always just start at 135 for my clean and jerk warm up. But uh, oh, for context, I used to, I used to train strictly Olympic weightlifting for two years when I was doing my masters. For like the first year, I would just go straight to 135 for my clean and jerk warm up. Warm up. But what I found was neurologically, you feel a little bit awkward from not warming up with just the bar and grooving the pattern first. So after I started um, going back down to the bar after I snatch, my clean and jerk started improving. So if you're an Olympic weightlifter. Don't be lazy. Start with the bar. Hey, 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 she didn't like that. That was a PR, right? Yeah. Nice. What is it? 195. I've, I've cleaned heavier, but PR yeah, with the cleaner jerk. jerk, yeah. Yeah, nice. Uh, so one of the things I discovered when I was uh, strictly Olympic weightlifting for two years is my legs got huge. And then when I returned to swimming after two years, my legs were huge, so I was actually swimming really slow. And then I, my kicking was actually super slow too. So I actually stopped squatting altogether for about two years or so. That's why I'm kind of really feeling the, on the clean when I'm front squatting it up, it feels really heavy right now, but the, but the push jerk feels really easy. <laughs> so there's a huge discrepancy and uh, that's the reason for it. Hey, oh no. <laughs> up. Drive up fast. Better. I have a meeting I need to get to at 12. It's 11.26. I still have to drive, shower, and drive there, so. Hey, yeah, dude. Shower. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna shower, so this is gonna be my last set. I'll just go for 2:30. Come on. All right, Sean's heading out. I'm gonna get my max squats in. Probably not max out by myself. I'll just get a heavy single in, and then we will be at the pool next. All right, I did not max out on my squat. I was about 240, probably fell out like 80%, but I'm gonna call it quits there for today. Uh, I'm kind of running low on time as well. Not filmed is I did some accessory work, uh, chin-ups, uh, some weighted push-ups, and some general core work. So that was a lift for today, and then now on to the pool. So just got back from the meeting. Uh, Sid and I, we finished our weightlifting practice. Now we're on our way to the pool. Tomorrow we're 
filming a vlog and training with Mario Marshall uh, and I think we're gonna go swim pretty fast tomorrow so we're gonna swim uh, easy practice right now probably do some drills some breath control work some underwater work get the feel for the water what's what's our current swimming goal uh, our current swimming goal is to break the US Masters national record in the 4x100 uh, free relay in uh, short course meters. That is happening December 7th, I think, in Long Beach. We have two of our other uh, ASU buddies joining us. Uh, we all have to average a 51.0 or faster on the relay. Warm up. Simone's going to be joining us, one of my best friends. Dad, there's 200 warm up. We're gonna go, Simone gives out a 200, you give a 200, I'll give a 200. Oh, okay. So that's 600, and then we'll do that twice and okay. for a total of 1,200. Okay. Here we go, 825s. Odd ones are all underwaters. First two odd ones, underwaters with your hands on your side. Move your spine excessively. The last two odd ones, our hands in Superman position, and then moving your spine excessively. All the even ones are underwaters to about 12 and a half, and then focus on sh strong breakout, and then do four to five strokes at 80%. Fly free, back free, breast free, free free. All the free is a perfect technique, 50 freestyle technique. I know someone I, here. I, I, what, what is that? Like straight arm? A straight arm, okay. Straight arm, six feet kick. Okay. Yeah. So the, the stroke, the fly back breast is just... Just do it. Just do it. Uh, just to train some different muscles. Okay. Do that twice. 25, you're gonna do an ankle buoy. You push off and then you do four four to five straight arm strokes. Uh -huh. You drop the buoy and go straight into four to five straight arm strokes with a six beat kick. And then once you do that, you flip turn and then just swim easy, come back. Then the 50 is, if you can, one breath per 25. But if that's hard, go about two, two, three, yeah. The next one's a constraints-based coaching set. So constraints-based just means uh, trying to get you to do something without me actually like telling you how to do it. It's just designing the set in a way that forces you to make something happen. And that makes something happen for this set is stroke count. So we're gonna go toe push off, but your toes have to be on the wall like this. And then we're just gonna start swimming. We're gonna go 425s. The goal for each one is to drop one stroke count for each 25. The first four are fist drill, oh. the second four are regular <laughs> swim. So like if you take 16 on the first one, you gotta go 15, 14, 13. Okay. And then in theory, when you open your palm, your stroke count should decrease okay. again. So So I gotta hit 14 and then 13 now. Oh, you won! Nice! Hey. <laughs> Change something. Yeah. 
11. 11 with a mega glide? Yeah, with a glide. <laughs> 14? 14. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> what was it, the total was like 12 or? 1200, yeah. Okay. You're, you're gonna fit in 3000 now? Right? No, no, no. <laughs> I'm gonna do 50 cc because I'm tired. Yeah. Well, can you say uh, like and subscribe? Huh? Can you say like and subscribe? Like and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much. <laughs>